Hey guys, and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, last week we didn't do too well in the tips. Started off with uh, Manly. I want I tipped Manly to beat Panthers. That did not turn out well. I got the uh, Raiders beating Cronulla, but then the next two games were shocking. Wasn't expecting this, and I was definitely not expecting that one. And then uh, we got three in a row after that, so I will take that. That that you know that made uh, my Saturday and early-ish Sunday a bit better. But then we finished off with another L uh, as I tipped the Cowboys to beat the Bulldogs. So not the best tipping results in round one, that's for sure. But uh, I guess I'll take four out of eight. It, it wasn't uh, wasn't too bad, but definitely could have been better. All right, moving on to round two. So here I'll give you my tips for this week's footy action. So... I'm going to start from the bottom up this time, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to finish on this game. Obviously, uh, Bunny's fan, I've got a little bit to talk about and discuss in regards to this one, but we are going to start with uh, Sunday, the 20th of March, the last game of the week, but my first uh, tip, I'm going to back the Broncos. Let's see what tips to say. M the majority are going the Broncos. Now, I'll let you know why I think the Broncos will get the job done here. So the Bulldogs were a bit scrappy against the Cowboys and realistically only just got that win. If it wasn't for uh, literally a foot, the uh, the Cowboys win that game. So unfortunate for the Cowboys, but the Bulldogs got the two points in the end there. Thought it was a very scrappy game and neither team looked good. I'm back in the Broncos here because I think the Broncos off the win against Souths. I think they're going to be hungry for another win. And the Bulldogs still have a lot of work to do, finding combinations and, uh, I guess, set positions as well. So, yeah, I think the Broncos just have a more well-rounded team at the moment. Bringing in Adam Reynolds is just, it's going to help them immensely. I actually think they might be a threat this year, more of a threat than a lot of people first thought. So I'm back in the Broncos here. I think they'll get that one done quite comfortably. Um, I'll go through my margins probably at the end of the game, at the end of the uh, the video. All right. So next game or the second last game, we have got the Knights and the Tigers. Now I think Newcastle are a shoe in for this one, as do the Tipsters. I think the Knights are going to get off to a two and zero start. I mean, they're going to be very good against the Tigers. Dane Gagai was amazing. I understand a lot of people are saying the Rabbitohs' biggest loss was um, Adam Reynolds. I highly disagree. I think our biggest loss was Dane Gagai. So the Knights, for me, win this game fairly easily there. Next up, we've got the Cowboys and the Raiders. So Cowboys at home, I think, I think they're going to start clicking. I'm hoping we see some good football come out of Jason Tamalolo. Uh, I hear the Cowboys could be signing Martin to power. Obviously, they're not going to give up uh, JT for him, but if they are to give up, you know, maybe like a not a fringe second rower or or front rower, but like I'd say they'd probably, Manly would probably want a decent uh, forward back for him. But uh, I think that that's really going to help the Cowboys if they can pull in uh, Jason Tamalo, uh, Jason, Marty Tapao, and not have to give up too much for him. I think that'll be a brilliant signing for them. Um, but in this case, I'm back in the Raiders here. We'll get to the margin at the end of the video, as I said. But I think the Raiders, they were very good against Cronulla, awesome against Cronulla. Uh, there was a couple of little plays that I, I thought was a bit how you going from them, but all in all, I think they had a really good game. Um, it was a good classic game of football. I loved it. it. You know, it was entertaining up until the last minute. Brilliant game of footy last week there with the Raiders and the Sharks. But yeah, I think the Raiders get this one done. Uh, Cronulla against Parramatta. Eels got off to a good start last week, although they were a bit clunky against the Titans. By that game, there was bugger all defense in the first half. It was crazy. We saw more points scored in the first half in that game than we did <laughs> any other game at all. So that's insane. But I think I'm, I'm back in Cronulla in this one. I'm back in the Sharkies to get their first win of the season. 
I think it'll be a very good game. Uh, what's the tipsters saying? Tipsters are back in Parramatta quite comfortably here, but I, I disagree. I think we're going to see a Sharkies win here. And I'll get two more margins at the end, but uh, yeah, back in Cronulla. I didn't see what this percentage was. Yeah, look, see, tipsters agree. Raiders should win that one. So next up, we've got the Titans against the Warriors. Warriors weren't great for me. They started off the game fairly well, but then fell off towards the end. I think the Titans played pretty good football at some stages. Um, I'm going to back the Titans in this one. And they they are favourites to win it there. They, they've, uh, they've got the fan support, so I'm, I'm comfortable with that tip. So, yeah, I'm backing the Titans. I'm happy to do that. Uh, this one's going to be a very good game, I think. Now, both these teams are coming off disappointing losses. So it's hard to see, you know, it's hard to say which team is going to win going forward. Um, injuries, I believe the Roosters have a few players out. Just let me have a look here. I did do my research before. But I forgot to look at the team list for Manly and the Roosters. So, a bit of a rookie error there for me. But uh, let's just have a look. So, well, Victor Radley is playing. So, I guess... I guess I'm going to back the Roosters. It's hard for me to say that. But I just... I don't know. Manly were not good last week. Whether they bounce back is... You know, it's anybody's guess. But... I think uh, Roosters are a fairly full-strength squad. You know, there's obviously still a couple of players to come back through, but I just, I can't see Manly getting the win here. I honestly can't, like, at the Sydney Cricket Ground as well. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to back the Roosters. What's our uh, fan support look like? Really close. Okay, I don't feel as bad about umming and ahhing about that one. It's very close between these two. I think it will be a very close game. And as I said, I'll get to more margins at the end. Look, this one isn't even close. Panthers should uh, quite comfortably defeat the Dragons. And we are finally here. Storm versus the Rabbitohs. Look, Rabbitohs fans, you know, let, let's let's take the bias out of it. Look, I, I've obviously, like last year, I backed the Bunnies every week. I had, I did not tip against them. However, this year, kind of want to win a tipping comp. So, I, I definitely think this is a game South can win. I 100% do. Now, obviously, they are going to be, uh, Storm are going to be heavy favourites in this one. But, I do think South can win. And with Latrell Mitchell coming back, it's really going to Going to help their cause a lot. Storm do have a few players out. The likes of Brandon Smith, um, Christian Welsh and George Jennings all coming out of the side. Yeah, they do welcome back players like Cameron Munster and uh, Jesse Bromick and Harry Grant as well. We can't forget uh, Grant there, but oh, I just, I think the Bunnies can win it. My my heart is definitely, definitely leaning towards Souths. But uh, Rabbitohs fans, look away now. I'm tipping Storm. I'm tipping Storm to beat the Rabbitohs. It's hard for the Rabbitohs to beat uh, Melbourne in Melbourne. It's almost impossible. We, I don't think we've ever done it, come to think of it. I do not think we have ever beaten Storm. And, like, at Melbourne, that is. Um, yeah, wins at this venue, we've never won. We've played 10 games and not won once. So, yeah, look. I've got a... I'm back in Storm. I'd love for that stat to change, and I think we, we definitely could uh, pose a threat this weekend. But, yeah, look. I don't... Yeah, you look at this. It's... Like, look at the win percentage. 86% the four team when these two teams meet. I, I just... I want to win the tipping this year. I, I want to go all out. Like last week was a terrible week, but I've, oh, it, it hurts me not to tip the bunnies. But I just, I just think Storm are going to be too good. I honestly do. And you know, as, as much I'm obviously going to cheer for the boys. I'm going to cheer as loud as I can and hope we can get over the line. 
you know, I, as much as it it had sucked to lose the tip, I uh, I care more about the Rabbitohs uh, success this year than I do my tipping comp. Uh, but at the same time, I also want to win my tipping comp as well. But if I don't, because the Rabbitohs win the premiership, I won't care one bit. <laughs> but that is unlikely. But uh, yeah, we, we, we're always here to be hopeful. Uh, but yes, I'm going to back Storm in this one. Now, let's go over margins. I'm going to back Storm in this one by four. I don't think it'll be that big of a margin. I think Storm and the Bunnies will have a grind out sort of game. Uh, Panthers and Dragons, I'm going to tip Panthers by 20. I think they'll continue their dominant season with an easy win over St. George. Roosters and Manly, at, I think Roosters win this one by two. I think you look at the tipping percent, like 51 to 49. People think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be close. I'm back in the Roosters by two in that one. Uh, Titans and uh, Warriors. Look, it's hard to see. Because Warriors have some good players coming back. They've also lost Sean Johnson. I just, I think the Titans are going to be way too good. Is Ash Taylor going to be hungry and want to get uh, get revenge on his old team? I don't know. But uh, I do think the Titans will win this one. And I think they'll win it by 10. Sharkies against the Eels. I think the Sharks will win this one by eight. I don't think it'll be all that convincing, but I think they'll play a little bit better than Para. Uh, Cowboys and Raiders. I'm back in the Raiders in this one. Going to go by ten. I think uh, the Raiders. Look, I think the Cowboys are going to give them a bit of uh, bit of trouble there in North Queensland. But I think I think at the end of the day, the Raiders are going to get the job done in that one. And I think at the uh, the end of the game, I think they'll get it done quite comfortably. I'm going to say it's going to be fairly close for the most part, and then the Raiders will run away with it at the end. All right, Knights over the Tigers. I'm going to go by 16. I think uh, the Knights have quite an easy game here against West Tigers. The Knights impressed me a hell of a lot last week, and I think they can continue that form and uh, get a good win there over the Tigers. And finally, Broncos and Bulldogs. Look, I think the Broncos are going to be very clinical this week. I think the Bulldogs are still finding their, um, what did I say before, their, you know, each player is finding their position. They're getting their, uh, like, I can't think of the word now. Uh, this, you know, they, they're all, st- they, they're going to have to take time to gel and uh, get that chemistry up. So I think the Broncos win this one quite comfortably. Let's go 18. I think the Broncos win this one by three tries and uh, solidify their spot in the top eight at the moment. So, uh, yeah, guys, that is my tips for the weekend. Uh, Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with these tips? Do you disagree? I'd love to hear your opinions, guys. Drop them down in the comments. Let me know who you tipped. And, uh, yeah, that is going to wrap it up for me, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.